Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia and Spain. Here we have lots of questions and uh, it is about the nature of things. Now here we have a creek but the state in its wisdom or stupidity installed a culvert in the creek and uh, it causes a lot of erosion and uh, we need some alterations, changes we're making some structural changes and we are discussing what to do fortunately I have Zach here from Switzerland <laughs> the volunteer. Hello, it's me again. Uh, he is very good at scientific things, fresh out of university. So, uh, right, first one, the water comes through here. Because it is reduced into a pipe, the water speeds up up to 12 times faster than the normal flow reaching the other end of the tube. Because the water speeds up, the pressure reduces. The pressure on the sides of this tube. So, what we have here is water enters. Tremendous speed, low pressure. And then I have built a wall here, which was quite high, but because we have taken out so much sand and earth, this is now filled up. And we have a swale on the side towards the sunset. And there was no other place to place the swale. Now, the questions. The sides of this, next to this culvert, has not been eroded heavily. So we assume that the low pressure, high speed water does not erode immediately after it exits the culvert. But we have seen that it does erode a lot further down as soon as it uh, reaches a few meters away from this culvert. Now this wall is much higher, it's almost like the top of this culvert because I have to get the water higher to go down this canal into the swell. Now, question number one I have. This canal we built. Should it be smooth to encourage the running of water because it only drops about a few centimeters over 14 meters? Now the sun is in our eyes. Or should we encourage the water to flow to have little pressure? The idea is to have the soil embankment one side and the other side we built with stone and cinder blocks and the bottom of this becomes uh, a permanent structure with uh, uh, cement. And... Uh, now, what is your question, Zach? Um, well, my immediate answer to the first question would intuitively be that we want the, the bottom of this canal to be smooth, um, but also slightly curved on the side where the earth will be serving as a wall on this side. Okay. Um, 
in order to have a faster water flow in the middle of the canal and avoid eroding our earthen wall. So faster flowing water in the middle of the flow stream. Exactly. Yeah, and that will uh, bring down the pressure on the sides of this canal, especially to on our earthen wall. And when the water does come, we have a lot of water here, but not in this area where Luna is now. And we have collected a lot of stones. So am I right when I assume that this canal is close to the low pressure water outlet will not receive a tremendous amount of running, fast running water and or water under pressure. So uh, we can uh, expect a smooth flow of water down the canal. Um, well, these are all only assumptions, <laughs> but that sounds right. However, like we just discussed without filming because the, a car was passing by, um, the bottom of the canal here, the entrance, is more or less midway or even higher up than uh, the, the middle of this culvert, yeah. yeah. Which means there will be a very large amount of water stacked up before it starts flowing. And once it does reach this threshold, I wonder if it won't have very much... Um, I don't know the name of this energy, but that will all try to funnel it into the only available exit. Um, the exit will, the lowest exit will be the canal, and that area over there, and that will obviously be closed, and the water overflows that is on a horizontal area. Okay, so our canal higher than the culvert because of our high swale that could not be in any other place. We, an unfortunate sediment trap, we collect a lot of sand there. Uh, it overflows there because that's the direction of the high speed water going that way we still don't know what can we place in that area to stabilize the flow we were talking about the tips of the wings of an airplane has this up part at the end uh, maybe we can put some up thingies there to stabilize the flow I think another option would be to simulate um, what they do at the edges of lakes or sometimes oceans, I don't know, I know lakes better, <laughs> is to put big stones to break up the current of the water and have it um, slow down and set here in this basin we have. Okay, so we have huge boulders that we have collected, so we might just be in good luck. And then we had another question where the water exits, the canal will be here about 60 centimeters wide and then it will come here into the swale that Zach is clearing from all the uh, brush that I have deposited in here. So if this is wide enough it will just carry on flowing but it appears that we will have to widen the exit of this well to encourage the water to flow and not to bank up. I think it even might be possible to quite easily get the water into the next swale uh, at the end of this one, 
from the little bit I can see from clearing starting at the other end. Okay. Um, but now that I say that, I realize that would make the place where I'm putting all the branches need to be cleared as well. <laughs> uh, I don't want it. I want it full of branches. <laughs> don't speak like that. Well, I don't want to clear two swales. There's already enough branches in this one. <laughs> no, no, no. Fill the other one. Okay. Actually, once the water gets there, even if it runs there over that area, I'm still happy because it will still run over the land. Already run over the land and not down this creek. Okay. We are very clever, intelligent people. We know exactly what we're doing. <laughs> we are carpenters, operate uh, heavy earth moving equipment operators. We are dog trainers. We are everything. We learn by doing. It gives us joy. And time will tell. We already brought some stones and sand <laughs> over we the the, the volunteer plural <laughs> and uh, tomorrow we will place some planks on the side here and start casting the surface area it will have a little bit of a kink to the right to cater for this so, till the next time, goodbye.